What an honor it is to honor this particular gentleman. Of course, we know him for all his great performances in so many movies. We also remember him as the voice of Darth Vader and the voice of CNN. And it, it may come as a surprise that it did to me uh, to tell you of a story that James told me about growing up. Because for eight years, he virtually did not speak. Um, and uh, he suffered because he suffered from such a terrible stutter. That in contrast to the voice that we now know. As a child, um, it was my dream uh, not to direct movies, but to play the violin. And I wanted to play the violin because it seemed that that instrument was by far the most expressive, um, capable of conveying the widest possible a range of emotions, and I, I guess getting to the heart of the matter. Well, that dream never did come true for me. Um, for some reason, my parents sent me to play rugby. Um, but 20 years ago, I came as close as I ever could as, uh, to making that dream come true because in 1991, for the first uh, time and later, many years later, I was lucky enough to direct James L. Jones. And it was James L. Jones who was totally in control of the instrument um, that is his acting skill. Um, I used to call him the Stradivarius of uh, film actors. Working with him, everything was possible. The only limitation was imposed by one's own imagination. And for an Australian director, fresh off the flying kangaroo from Sydney, um, it really was a dream come true to be handed him as an actor in Patriot Games. I didn't cast him. That had been done before me for The Hunt for Red October by uh, my friend Mace Newfeld, and who sends his love and his love to James. But back to those violin lessons. Um, working with James on those two movies was memorable for not being memorable at all. By that I mean that all the drama was in front of the camera, not behind the camera. We shot our scene so quickly, remarkably easy, with a minimum of fuss, a maximum of choice to the director later in the editing room. And James taught me so many things. First of all, that film acting is about making a whole host of possibilities, of performance possibilities. That an actor, as much as a director, is a storyteller. He understood e either from experience or just instinct that the director and actor um, enjoy a symbiotic relationship, that we're totally dependent on each other. And uh, as a director, one felt completely empowered by him personally and by his performance. He just energized you with um, this calming strength um, of his presence and he just filled you with confidence in whatever you were doing. You, f you really did feel like you had the power. Um, and afterwards, when I got into the editing room, that was when I really appreciated the gift that James had delivered to me. Every take was first and foremost utterly real and, and human. Um, and then after three or four takes, you realized he had left you with simply a mountain of possibilities as a storyteller. Without quite realizing it, you, the director, had become the equivalent of a great violin player with a performance that had all the light, the shade, and emotion that that instrument could ever yield. So I'd like to say thank you to James uh, for being an inspiration and a teacher to us all, and also to offer my congratulations for this Oscar that he so rightly deserves.